in today's video i want to talk about what in my opinion is the best build for legendary strongholds this build will make a huge of a difference if you did not play with a build like this if that sounds interesting then let's get started so let's get to the build so the build i want to talk about is a crowd control build but before we go to the actual build though i want to go through the specialization quickly because this time around I think it's super important that you play the right specialization. And in this case for crowd control, the survivalist is definitely the way to go. So survivalist is a really good healer spec slash utility spec. It comes with incendiary grenade which is great for crowd control. It also do have crunch time which gives you 10% skill haste when you are in cover. So pretty useful as well if you're playing a skill build because you are gonna sit a lot in cover. Then you also have Survivalist Tactical Link, which gives 10% multiplicative damage to targets with status effect. And since this build is a status effect build, they're gonna be on status effect most of the time. And then they do have this armor kit as well, which heals your group member over time. So pretty nice too. And then 10% protection from elite as well, and increased outgoing healing though. We're not gonna be healing here, but yeah, that's why this spec is really good. So with that out of the way, let's actually take a look at the build. So this is how my build is looking right now. This is a work in progress and my pieces are way from being min-maxed and exactly what I want though. But yeah, basically the point of the build is to get a lot of skill haste so you can get the cooldown down on your skills. You also want to get status effect because that will increase the effect duration of status effects. So to achieve that, there's actually a few different ways you can do that. I decided to go for three pieces uh, China which have skill haste and status effect. I have one piece Hano, which is skill haste as well. Then I also do have one piece of Golan, which gives me 10% status effect. And then we have the last one, which is the holster, and that's a non-brand holster. I guess you are a little bit surprised about that. But the thing with the non-brand holster though, is that it does come with a mod slot. So that's why it's really good to have. And yeah, you can just craft that at the crafting station. But as you already could see on the Golan mask, a lot of the stats here are not what I want them to be exactly. And I definitely have some different stuff I do want to try with this build. Especially trying to get it to do a bit more damage. But for this video I will mainly just cover the basic of this and how to set it up. Also worth to note is that you could use the exotic backpack if you like to. I don't have a status effect on mine. But it's still fine though. It have the skill haste. So, so if you don't have status effect on your pieces. That's fine. Like prioritize the skill haste. Because that's the most important thing. So with the exotic backpack, the useful things we do get is one extra armor kit, three extra grenades, and 10% status effect. So that's really useful for this type of build. Also, when you do toss a grenade, you will get overcharged if you have a skill tier 6. Worth to note though, the gameplay later you're gonna see, I did not use this backpack. Because I do miss the status effect on this piece, so I would lose 10% status effect. But honestly, it doesn't matter too much. But this is at least what I have right now. As I said, this build is work in progress, so keep that in mind. So I guess we can take a look at the weapons first before we go through the pieces one by one. So I'm actually I'm using this named rifle here. And it's got perfect perpetation, I think it's called. Which gives the 50% status effect damage and duration to the next status effect you apply. The cooldown is 16. On the normal talent, it's 20 second cooldown. So that's the difference. Honestly, I haven't had time to test this too much. I'm not sure if this is worth it because the status effect is so long anyway. And if you use like the Firefly, for example, or EMP, will it affect everybody? That's probably what I think, but I'm not sure. We would have to do some testing on that. But that talent is worth to keep in mind. Then I just have my normal M1A here. I did use Bullet King earlier. But you're not gonna focus on doing too much damage. However, I do think that you could make this a bit more hybrid in terms of damage. Because there's definitely some moments when you can damage. And if you could make like 1.5 million to the head with a build like this. That's still some good damage to, to help out your team. As long as it doesn't affect your skill usage or that you go down. I think that's perfectly fine. But of course your main focus should be the utility slash support. Because you're gonna have damage dealer with you when you use this. Because with this build you don't need to have tanks or healers. You can play this as we did. 1 CC and 2 DPS. And probably even 1 CC and 3 DPS. So starting with the mask here. It's the Golan brand set as I said. And it's pretty hard to actually get a good one. Because it always rolls with armor here. So that's why I haven't gotten a better one than this one. 
So, of course, I would like to have status effect on this one as well. But I do have the skill haste. And as I said, status effect is not that important. Like, get the skill haste and it will be fine. Of course, I am going to min-max this later though. So, skill haste, status effect, then mod it with skill haste. Then we go to the chest piece here. And I'm using a three piece china. So, this is one of them. So, skill haste as the main stat. So, I want to try to actually roll that if I can. We just got this one five minutes before we did the legendary so you can see it's a really really bad piece i do miss the status effect and the talent is braced so yeah in terms of talents here i would like to go overwatch and take a look here in the chest talents here so you can see it but basically you sit in cover and you get the 12 percent weapon damage to your team but you have to stay in cover for 10 seconds though which is quite a long time but if you use cover to cover it can be useful with this build you can sit and cover a lot so yeah definitely keep that talent in mind because you are utility so you are supposed to buff your teammates however you could go something like trauma though but i don't think that's necessary to be honest that's a bit overkill because the cc we have is gonna be enough it should be enough but if you want to go overkill i guess you could go trauma on the chest piece and then on the backpack you could go something like uh, creeping death where is creeping death? Like creeping death. Because if they are close enough, you would spread the CC. But honestly, I would not recommend that. But it, it's an option, I guess, if you want to. I honestly want to try later to do a, a bit more of a hybrid DPS with this. So I guess for that one, uh, maybe I want to use glass cannon. The thing with Overwatch is that it is strong. But it's 10 seconds. So I, I would have to try this a bit to see what I think about it. And glass cannon is super risky though, but... If you could make that work with glass cannon and Vigi, for example, that's a lot of damage. And I think if you get some extra damage too, then you could just melt even faster. But that's something I will test at a later stage though. I actually don't know how this skill works though. Maybe this would be interesting. But I would just stick with the... I would just stick with Overwatch though. But we will see the more I play this build what I think. So yeah, Overwatch on the chest piece and status effect here. Then we have the holster. This one comes with status effects because that's the best one I got. Like it's still 10, it's still 10.4 skill haste, so it's fine. Skill haste mode there as well. Then we have the backpack. Same thing here, status effect and skill haste. And I actually do have versatile on this one. And I think for a like DPS build, this could be <laughs> decent to have. But then again, I would probably rather use Vigi. But if they're 25 meters away, which is quite far away though, but that's definitely a distance you could achieve in the legendaries. You get 35% multiplicative damage. Then again, our weapon damage is so low, so the multiplicative damage is not going to be as good as it would be on a damage build. So in terms of backpack talents though, you could go something like Energize. So if you use an armor kit when you have skill tier 6, like this build have, you will get overcharged for 15 seconds. It got a 1 minute cooldown and honestly, sure, you do use armor kits here and there. But I don't think you're going to use it that much though. Like it could definitely be worth to use though for pure utility support. I don't think it's needed though. Then the exotic backpack would be better to use. You have calculated but as I said like you're not going to get that many kills. You also have galvanize which gives your teammates bonus armor if you blind them for example. But it's 40% of your armor and your armor is going to be like 700k. So they get like 300k bonus armor. I don't think that's that good. And it shouldn't be needed. But I guess that would work. But I've been interesting for a DPS hybrid maybe to use uh, Wicked or even Vigi. I guess Composure if you use Overwatch. But but yeah, I mean, I'm going to take some time later and look into that. How I could make this hybrid and how I think it would work. Then we have the gloves, which is Hana Yu, which have skill haste. So status effect and skill haste. Pretty straightforward. We have skill haste and status effect on the knees as well with the China. Keep in mind though, like you can put the pieces wherever you want. The holster is going to be non-branded one, but the rest you can do whatever you want with. If you use exotic backpack, it's going to go there too. But other than that, you can put them wherever you want. But also, if you are trying to make this build, like don't be afraid to use another brand set. Because I think this build is not that hard to, to make efficient, even if you would lose a brand set bonus here and there. Like if I would use Golan, it wouldn't be the end of the world losing that 10% status effect. But that's basically how you set up the build. 
So if we take a look at the skills though, I am using the Blinder Firefly, which scale kind of opened me up to back when we did the Legendaries early on. So a pretty damn good skill and that's kind of how it all started. Because he noticed that, yeah, that's a pretty good skill. And I think it's pretty fun that this skill is pretty powerful now because it used to feel like a paper plane and not useful at all. But now it's like such a good CC skill. So I'm really happy with that. I think it's a really, really cool skill. Anyway, if we look at the cooldown, I have it at 19.2 now and the 20.8 blind duration. That, of course, can get quite improved as you saw my pieces. I miss a lot of status effect here and there and it could be definitely more min-maxed. But even with this build not being min-maxed, you can already see how short my cooldown is. And yeah, you min-max it a bit more and I think there could be some option to add some damage into this. So I'm really interested to try that. I guess we can look at the tier 6 as well. It's 210 speed, 120 blind effect duration, and 6 more targets. So a total of uh, 10 targets. Overcharge would add 4 more targets and 80% more blind effect. But I feel like that is a bit overkill. Sure, in some scenarios it could be good depending on your DPS players. But in terms of the modding though, I use uh, skill haste. And then I have blind effect duration. I'm not sure what else you can get here. I crafted this one. And blind effect duration sounds pretty good to me. Pretty low roll though. Maybe I try to roll a better one. But it, honestly it doesn't do that much. But it's nice to have for sure. Then I do have an extra max target here as well. And then we have the second skill which is uh, pulse jammer. Which is really really good for legendaries as well. So my cooldown there sits at 12.2 seconds with a 13.1 EMP effect duration. So basically 100% uptime. So the good thing if you use the exotic backpack is really really strong. Like you get 90% bigger radius, 40% more effect duration and instant charge speed basically. So overcharge is pretty good for the EMP. Especially in certain areas where you need to have longer range. And then you can just sit back right. So if we check the modding here, I do have radius, but maybe it would be worth with charge speed. No, it's two seconds. I don't think it would be worth. So I have radius there. On the second one, I've been using effect duration though, but maybe it would be worth to go to skill haste. Honestly, I don't think this matters that much because it changes so little. But having a little shorter cooldown would be better maybe, but then again, 9.25 effect is what I'm going to go for here. It's not a big difference at all. So yeah. That's the skills, and I think those are the best for most missions as well. Sure, there could be other missions where you want to use something else. Maybe you want to use, for example, the Firefly Demolisher, which uh, destroys enemy weak points, though. But then again, I think just Firefly Blinder, it's, it's just such an insane skill for CC. But I think if we go and cover here, let's see if we can see that. We will get the Survivalist skill haste as well. So now we can actually check the real cooldown that it will have if you sit in cover. So 12.2, 19.2. So it's showing, okay, it's showing the same skill haste as before. So it doesn't actually change at all here. Yeah, it shows the same here too. But yeah, I think that will end this video. I'll probably make an updated version for this build later because I really do enjoy playing this build. And I, as I said, I do want to try to, to make this a bit hybrid because I feel like you can do that because it's so powerful right now. So you don't actually need exactly everything into it. So I definitely want to try to squeeze it in to make uh, some sort of hybrid with DPS if possible. But keep in mind, your job is to sit and cover, use your skills. But at some points you can be able to do some damage. So why not have some extra, you know? If you can make between 1 to 2 million on heads, like that's pretty much worth it. But anyway, a lot of talk here, but I think this covers everything with the build. I will show you the first run we did on stream today on Legendaries, where you can see the build in action. I won't show the full Legendary though, because that will be quite a long video and we didn't get any perfect runs. So when I feel like I, we get a better run that's like a bit more smooth, because some of the parts here were... <laughs> Not the best because it was the first time I played it. But when we get that, sure, I can upload it to YouTube and you guys can see how we do it. Anyway, hope you guys found this video useful. And if you are interested in more Division 2 content, then make sure to hit that subscribe button. See you guys in the next one. Look at that. An AMP. One behind you. Yeah, I guess that's better if I
Should probably not use that skill there actually. Just wait for next wave. I know how fast it spawns. Yeah, but they're already here. I don't have a flame grenade now either. Yeah, it's nice to need the dropper. Actually, perfect timing here. Like, do I just want to EMP instantly after the flash? It seems a bit unnecessary, dude, to be honest. It's, a, it's just not necessary, I think. If I use the band, you could see it coming. Five seconds. Fine. This is fucking EMP first. You shouldn't have to use your Banshee though, to be honest. Kill the drone. You don't need to. Kill the sniper. Is he just toss a flame grenade here? Oh, what the fuck? Okay, I fucked up my drone. I have nades though. Any EMP is kind of key. Yeah. I don't know, I think this is pretty chill to play, dude. You use some skills, you know? Yeah, of course. It's the most chill thing you can do. Yeah. Oh, I, I got a LA. Okay, they already loaded, I guess. Do I have a pulse? I got chopped right away. I just got it. Oh, this thing is damaged that good. I hate that you can't instantly go for the freaking MP. Soon is good.
I'm gonna see if I can cancel him with the uh, EMP this time. Okay, did not cancel it. It's fun, dude. Yeah, okay. I'm shooting big one soon. <laughs> oh no, he's doing it again. I mean, I'm putting him on lead. Toss the paper plane. Wee. I fucking dig the firefly, dude. Okay, stop shooting me. You're fucking blind. <laughs> Exotic. Got the biggest horn, dude. Depends on the roll. I think it's a better one. Depends on the roll. 